All right, we have Will today from IQ Bar. Will, welcome to the Bunny James Warehouse Series. How are you doing? Doing well, thanks for having me. Awesome, I'm excited to be talking to you today. IQ Bar is one of those really unique products that actually falls into multiple food tribes, as we like to call it. Food tribe being how you identify with how you eat. It's kind of like our token word, and we've got a different amazing gift box for every different food tribe out there. And one thing that I found unique about your product, well, it tastes really good, which is a huge plus, but also it kind of fit into that low carb keto uh, food tribe and also falls into that plant-based vegan food tribe. So, um, Will, maybe you could just give us a quick rundown of how you came up with this product and, uh, you know, let our customers know who eating it, like really, you know, what it, what it took to bring it to market. Totally. So I created the product for myself. I think a lot of food entrepreneur, food and drink entrepreneurs started that way. I had zero experience whatsoever in, in, in CPG or food and Bev. And uh, basically I just felt bad on a daily basis. Um, this was, I was like 25, 26, working really long hours, selling software. Yeah. I just felt bad physically every day. I was really lethargic. Um, got headaches, kind of chronic headaches and things like that. And, and the culprit I soon learned was my diet. And so I became obsessed with diet and I started reading tons of books on it. And basically where I netted out was I was eating too many carbs, basically, um, and sugar being the, the primary carb there that was causing problems. And so this was right as paleo was really gaining, gaining traction in Whole30. And this was pre-keto craze. But um. So I got really into that. And then I also read a book called Grain Brain by David Perlmutter, which is basically uh, advocating a low carb diet. Um, so I got really interested in low carb and started uh, doing that regimen for myself. And it worked. I felt better. I could think more clearly. Um, and the plant-based thing, honest, if, if I'm just being honest about it, is just where everything's moving. Like it, it you know, I, I'm not entirely vegan myself. Uh, I try to eat mostly plant-based, but just, you know, for a protein packed product, you just want to be plant-based. I mean, there's all the ethical benefits and what have you and the environmental benefits and, and then some would say health benefits, um, which is great, but it's just, that's just where things are moving, <laughs> um, frankly. So, um, but the primary focus was low carb, you know, simple, clean ingredients. And then of course I can get into the whole brain element of it um, as well. Very cool. Well, uh, I've also read Green Brain. It's a very good book. So anybody who's watching, uh, definitely check that out. I, that, that, that changed my opinion on a lot of things and also made me understand that like um, one of the biggest factors for how we feel mentally too starts in our gut which is, you know, like if people who are struggling with anxiety and depression, you know, there's ways that we can eat that, that help that. And uh, I learned that from that book. So I think- No that's question, yeah, the second brain, the gut is the second brain. Exactly, well, now that you've, you've had this realization, are you feeling a little bit better physically now? I am. I'm, my lifestyle lends itself to not feeling good physically, but uh, that's not- <laughs> That's not downstream of diet. That's downstream of starting a company. Well, I can relate with that. And I think that's probably the most important thing that we should talk about next, because um, I don't know if you've seen any of the videos that I've created, but I've got a, a bunch on the internet of, of what it's like building a business. And I'll tell you what, uh, the way I like to describe it is like 90% like endurance, like just the, the willingness to endure of what it's like to build a business and 10% the most amazing life that I've ever dreamed of. And you know, and you, that's kind of how those balance out for me. So maybe you can talk about that. What's it been like building a business and especially building a business through a pandemic and uh, where you are now? Sure, yeah, no, I, I really like um, Reed Hoffman, the guy who founded LinkedIn has a really good analogy. He says, uh, building a startup is like, falling off a cliff with a bunch of airplane parts and you have to build the airplane before you hit the ground and fly off. So it's like, you're just rushing around like to, to survive. 
And if you can survive, you can thrive. But yeah, like you said, it's 90% survival. Um, if you look at my life on paper, it's terrible, you know? And yet, um, I love it. Like, I wouldn't trade it. I think, you know, one of the best things people can do, I'm always very dubious of people who just go from college to like starting something. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I did it the way I did, where I had a, you know, a job and I had a tough boss and I had all these tough expectations. Like, I saw the other side of it. Yeah. And I was in in the other side and then and then I started my own thing and so I can juxtapose the two whenever like life really sucks I'm just like yeah but at least like it's my thing at least I'm my own boss at least I can control my own destiny like yada 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 so that's just kind of how I how I think about it but it's been I mean everyone who tells you it's a roller coaster is telling you the truth um CPG alone is so tough just in the sense that you're reliant on so many third parties to make everything work, right? And so you could do everything right. And if the ingredient provider doesn't get you the thing or the manufacturer has a labor issue and thus can't produce, and if what, whatever happens, you're out of luck, right? And then take a pandemic and those things that went wrong 2% of the time now go wrong 20% of the time, Yeah. right? So it's just constant problem solving. All, honestly, all, all entrepreneurship is, is problem solving. Right? You, and every day has a new problem. Like you never wake up and don't have a problem to solve. You're never like, okay, let's check sales and you know, it looks good. And uh, yeah, we're, we're on schedule for producing. It's like, no, like the pea protein didn't make it in from wherever it's coming from. And like we got to like expedite this like four states over in two days. And like, it, it's, you almost become numb to like chaos. Cause that's just your, that's your steady state. Um, so I find like, I, well, the good news is everything else that's crazy. I'm like, Oh, that's no biggie. Like that's like a Tuesday for me, you know? Um, <laughs> So you get just good at dealing with problems and solving them really rapidly. Yeah. And I, and I got to give some kudos to you because I know what that's like. I think more than, than most I can identify with everything that you're saying. And um, uh, uh, there's a big difference when, you know, you start something from the ground up and you build your team and you build your business and, you know, it's not like there's these endless resources to help you when something comes up. It's, you got to grab a hold of the people that are around you and on your team and you got to make your best decision, right? With what, you know, with your previous experience, you know, there's no, there's not this whole other organization that's going to like help guide you through those things. So um, I know what that's like. It, it feels and like. I, I actually feels- think that's a, a plus too, because you move a lot quicker, right? So it's yeah. not always the case that having that bureaucracy around you to ping ideas off. That's, that's, sometimes good oftentimes bad and like we're able to move so quickly because one it's one person just been like do it just do it you know um yeah yeah for example like a new flavor or uh you know you know changing the packaging or something like that you can move a lot faster than you would than you would in a large company which is cool yeah man that's cool um any anything that that you'd like anyone watching to know um, about the, the product specifically, are there some new flavors coming out? Do you want to talk about, you know, the brain ingredients in your product? I'll kind of leave it to you right here with, you know, maybe just a finishing thought that any customers who are thinking about, uh, grabbing in one of our boxes or maybe going to your site and purchasing, um, would you like them to know? Yeah, no, we, so we, to your points earlier, um, we we thread a really kind of cool tri- dietary trifecta of keto, um, vegan and paleo friendly, you know, slash clean label. Um, but probably the most differentiated thing about us is, is we center on the brain. So the, the reason we're keto is not because like it's trendy, it's because that's the best way to make your brain work the best. You know, that's the way to not crash at two 30 is, you know, car, you know, carbs are inversely correlated with, you know, the, that two 30 feeling. So, um, everything we do 
is working backwards from what's the best thing for my brain. Yeah. Um, and so in addition to like the macronutritional profile serving that purpose, we also have things like lion's mane adaptogen, which is a mushroom extract. Um, and we center on other things like omega-3s and choline and flavonoids. And um, we detail it all on our site, eat, eatiqbar.com. But um, that's definitely the, probably at a 30,000 foot view, just the quickest differentiation component to us. Um, but if I'm honest about what, you know, why do people buy us? It's yeah. most people shop for bars based on diet, you know? And so that, that dietary trifecta is really all our hallmark. Awesome. Well, I think that's a great explanation. And I think, uh, for now, uh, people are really focused on, on functional products and things that not only help their gut, but also help their brain. So anyone watching, I definitely recommend we'll post the boxes that, that they're in below so you can give them a shot. And, um, well, it's been a pleasure working with, with IQ bar where, where we, have, we have all the intentions in the world to keep the business going and, and try any new flavors and new products that you guys have. Um, we think that you're a really, really great company and, uh, we're excited for the future. Likewise. No, we think, we think the same of Bunny James. And, um, actually one thing we are coming out with is something called IQ mix, which is the first ever adaptogens plus electrolytes hydration stick pack, zero sugar, uh, stick pack. So that's, that's, that's on the horizon. So we'd love to partner on something like that. Very cool. We've got a bunch of fitness boxes that would probably be a good fit in. So, uh, that's awesome, man. Let's leave it there. Have a good day.